Hi, it's Cheryl from my well-rounded life. Thanks for joining me today. It's Sunday morning and I'm on my way to church. Oh, there's a jogger lady. Ugh, more power to you. Leggings, t-shirt, earmuffs and gloves. That's it. I'm going crazy here. I'm wearing layers today. A little black thing and, and this thing. I put my winter coat on for the first time the other day to go somewhere and um, it's a whole lot bigger on me than it was last year because of the 35 pounds I lost. So I am not going to go for another winter coat. I'll just either, I'll wear it as is or I'll just keep layering up. I don't spend much time outside in the winter. I only go out when I have to. I don't enjoy uh, the winter at all, so I'm not too worried about a coat being a little too big. Better too big than too small, because I could put it on over something like this if I need to. So anyway, uh, busy holiday. I didn't get a, a vlog up. I had to go to Weight Watchers on Wednesday because they were closed Thursday. So I did Weight Watchers and the uh, Walmart grocery pickup. On Wednesday and oh, I could have gone oh, I could have still gone okay oh wait um, after my pickup I, I had to bring everything home and and do a uh, haul for you guys and eat some lunch really quick and then get to my dentist appointment it was my uh, six month and that turned out okay, no cavities, yay. So I'm good to go till sometime next year. They made the appointment and I have no idea when it was. I'm not sure if she gave me an appointment card. So I'm gonna have to look for that in my wallet or else call them up and ask them when my next appointment is so I can get it in the books because I don't remember. What was this? This is November, December, January, February, March, April, May. So I guess May. So that's one less doctor's appointment I'll have during the winter months. I hate having doctor appointments in the winter months because you can make the appointment for me, but I won't be there if there's white stuff on the ground. And I never make an appointment on a Monday, just in case it snows over the weekend and Monday's bad. I couldn't call before Monday to reschedule and you know, they want 24 hours notice or they'll, they could charge you. Now, of course I could call and leave a message over the weekend and say, I'm giving you more than 24 hours notice, I won't be there Monday morning. And they won't get it till Monday morning, but at least I called. I know I can do that, but I just avoid that altogether by never making an appointment on Monday, year round. I never make appointments on Monday. It's just my thing. Then I don't have to worry about needing to be somewhere right away at the beginning of the week. So I'm always clear on Mondays as far as that's concerned. Uh, let's see. So, um, I got on the scale at Weight Watchers on Wednesday and I was up a little bit. I don't know why or if it was just a scale difference, but on Saturday, I weighed myself at home because that's when I'm supposed to before I eat breakfast and this is what it was. So 233.2, that's not good. So I pretty much been eating since Wednesday. I was only gonna eat, you know, well, I was gonna start eating Thanksgiving on Thursday, but we had gotten some extra stuff, good stuff for Wednesday night and pumpkin pie and things like that. And so I just started early and my attitude was like, eh, it's Thanksgiving, everybody else is eating like this, I will too. So that's what I did. So I gained a few pounds and um, that's where I'm at right now. So it's gonna be salad, salad, salad this week and turkey, turkey, turkey because on Thanksgiving, my mother and I went to a buffet and it was a nice spread. <clears throat> the food was okay. I didn't have any complaints. It wasn't my food. So it wasn't as good as it could have been, um, but I ate it. I had a plate of hors d'oeuvres first, a little plate. 
I had shrimp cocktail, five of them. <clears throat> I had one deviled egg, which wasn't very good. It was very bland. And I had some cheese. They had little cubes of cheese, all different kinds. The only one I didn't like was the champagne cheese. That was like, <clears throat> thank God I didn't take a big enough, a really big cube of that. So here's that plate. On that plate was also some broccoli salad. I like ate the stuff around it and left the broccoli. Cause you know, it's, it's broccoli. So, <clears throat> excuse me, morning throat. I had coffee and it's the first I'm talking today. Uh, then I had my dinner plate. I had one slice of turkey with, with gravy and I had a slice of um, brisket. That was good. I cut the fat cap off and just ate, you know, the leaner part below it. I had some stuffing and mashed potatoes. I took way too much of both and I did not finish either. I took just a few french fries and some risotto. That was pretty good. I ate that and they had some roasted vegetables, which I ate. So here's that plate. And that was it for Thanksgiving dinner. I forgot to take pictures of my dessert. They had a couple tables filled with uh, cakes, pies, cheesecake. I took a, it looked like a, a yellow cake with like strawberries and cream in the middle and then a white icing. And I ate the cake out of that and the, it was a layer cake. Um, and they already had them pre-sliced, so they were thin slices. So I ate the cake and the icing that's between the layers, and I left the rest of the icing on the outside. And then I went and got another slice because there was another cake that looked really good. It looked um, spice. And I, I, t right, I still don't know if it was a spice cake or a pumpkin cake. But again, I ate the two little sections of cake with the icing in the middle, which I think was a cream cheese icing, and I'm not that crazy about cream cheese. So again, I left all the icing around the outside of it on my plate. And my mother said that while I was gone getting the second piece of cake, the waiter guy came to take my plate of cake, and all my mother saw was icing. And she said, oh wait, she may not be done with that. And he turns the cake around to expose the empty other side where there was no cake, and she's like, oh yeah, she's done because she knows how I am so I wish I was there for that and here's church 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 it is 10 of which is usually when I always arrive so I did have two pieces of cake thin slices uh, minus the icing and then later on that night I can't remember what we had for dinner my mother and I um, because she spent, no, she didn't spend that night. She spent the night before. Why don't I know these things? I went and got her on Wednesday after the dentist and everything. I had Taco Bell, that's when it started. Taco Bell for lunch on Wednesday, that's right. I forgot about that already. Checking my parking. Whoa. I'm a terrible parker. So it started with Taco Bell. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It was good. And I ate it by myself in the car after the dentist. I was out running around and had to pick my mother up on the way home. So on Thursday, I guess I took her home. It's like all a blur because she came back and spent Friday night with us into Saturday. And we had a delicious um, dinner on Friday. We. I had a big turkey that I bought. Well, we got it free from the giant. It was a 20 pound turkey coupon and our turkey was like 20.58 pounds. So I paid like 58 cents for it. And uh, cause it was 99 cents a pound. So I made that and I'll talk more about that when I get back into the car because I'm not going out to eat after church. I'm just going straight home. Chrissy gets off at two and if she wants to go out, we'll go out to eat later on today or else 
We won't. I'm not sure. I gotta take the gloves off to turn the phone off. So I'll talk to you guys later. Bye bye. Hi. Well, it's uh, 12:01, and I just left church. I'm heading home. Uh, my stomach didn't feel totally normal in church. Like, like I don't know. I just didn't feel right and wished I wished that I had some Tums so I think I'm gonna go home and take a Tums I don't know it's like I'd burp and feel better and my mouth would be like watery but I didn't have a stomach ache or anything and I didn't feel like indigestion I don't know I had an English muffin uh, with some sugar-free jelly on it and a banana for breakfast and I just don't feel right now I'm starting to feel kind of like hunger on top of it but the last thing I want to do is eat I just want to have a Tums so I don't know it's not a normal feeling for me I don't normally have stomach issues so I don't know where this has stemmed from unless it's a delayed reaction to the extra heavy food I've been eating Wednesday Thursday Friday and Saturday I told you on Friday I made that uh, turkey and my daughter brought leftovers home from work because she worked a solid 48 hour shift. So they made their own Thanksgiving turkey, or rather um, Thanksgiving dinner in, in work at the firehouse. And um, so she brought her leftovers home. And my mother came over Friday and spent the day with us, had turkey dinner with us, spent the night and went home yesterday afternoon. So I've had, you know, leftovers since then. I don't know. So that could very well be today's issue. I felt perfectly fine until after I, till just till like right after church started. So I'll eat. When I get this way, I just, if I eat at all, I eat very lightly throughout the day. And I, I tend to lean towards soups because they're light. And I love chicken broth, like chicken noodle soup. I just love the broth from that. So, other than eating, I really don't have any updates. I haven't done any Christmas shopping of any kind. I don't do Black Friday. I've seen terrible um, clips from the news and stuff about people freaking out over TVs and Walmart and all kinds of nonsense like that. Um, some lady, she, she takes care of, she's like a foster mom for a certain breed of dogs. And she went to Sam's Club because they had these dog beds on sale for $14. And when she got there, there were only four left. So she only took two. That was it. And then she continued her shopping. And then she parked her cart by the ladies' room and went in. When she came out, there was a woman rifling through her cart and taking one of the two dog beds. And she was like, excuse me, those are... Uh, that's my cart and those are the things I'm buying and she looked at her and said you have two dog beds in here And she said yeah, I have six dogs and I only took two She could have taken all four that were there. It was up to her, you know, but she was nice and she left two. But uh, she took the bed back from the woman and put it back in her cart and continued shopping and the woman was like like so upset but I mean who are you to go through my cart of things you know what I mean? What kind of a person, what does it take for someone to act that way? Just to save yourself a few bucks on a dog bed. You know, it's ridiculous. And it's stuff like that, plus the crowds and the parking that just keep me inside. It's like the worst of people come out on days like that. And there's plenty of innocent people out there just trying to do what they can to save a buck. Um, and that's fine, but that's not me not me. I'm just not interested in getting involved in anything like that. 
Ugh. Just thinking about it stresses me out. So, yellow. I stay out of it completely. They don't need me out there. And then there's this whole cyber shopping. I, I don't shop online for stuff like on purpose. I mean, like now and then I get something from Amazon. But I mean to like, let's Christmas shop online. Uh, I can't, I just, I don't know how to do that. And Cyber Monday is tomorrow. And it's supposed to be the, the busiest Cyber Day for shopping. I don't know. I don't know enough about it and I don't have any idea what really to get anybody. I'm only shopping for my mother and my daughter. That's that's it. They're the only people in my lives to shop for. Um, and I don't even know what my daughter wants yet. She's taking forever to get her Christmas list to me. I, however, have already made my Christmas list and gave it to my mother and my daughter. And my mother's given me hers. But it really isn't anything on it that I could buy online. So, anyway, enough of that. I'm just about home. Let the poor doggies out. So, you see, nothing's going on this week. So, I wasn't too anxious to, to get a car vlog out. I don't really know. I don't think I'm going to do midweek vlogs anymore. I think I'll save it for my my Saturday weigh-ins at home. Oh. Uh, on Friday night, when my mother came over and we had that turkey dinner, we had um, pumpkin pie for dessert. Chrissy brought home half. I told you she brought home leftovers. Well, there was half of a frozen Marie Callender pumpkin pie that they had purchased and, and eaten. There was three of them at the firehouse that day to eat on Thursday. So we took that, that half of pie and cut it into three pieces to have for dessert that night. And it was the best tasting pumpkin pie I can remember having in a long time. Way better than the one I, that I picked up. I picked up a small one um, at Walmart. Anyway, anyway. It was so delicious. And it was funny because uh, of the way Chrissy likes her pie. Hold on, let me park. Cause you know how I am about parking. Parking in the shade. I feel like I'm way too far over. I see the line, but it's almost on it. This was always my problem with the big car. I don't know what my deal is now. Okay, much better. All right, get my face out of the sun. So, I like to sprinkle some cinnamon on my whipped cream. So here's my pie. And again, this was Friday night best pie I've had in ages. And here's two pictures of Chrissy's pumpkin pie Friday night. Hardy har har. That's Chrissy for you. And that's how she had her pie. My mother's looked a little more like mine. She was more normal. Um, but Chrissy loves her pie like that, so you gotta let her have it. There's a doggy. There's a doggy. So I'm gonna go ahead and close this vlog for the week because, as you can see, I didn't really do much of anything this week except eat. And Chrissy gets off it too. So then. I don't know what we're going to do, if we're going to decorate for Christmas, if we're going out for any errands running or anything, I'm not sure. So, I'm just going to head inside and do what I got to do for the rest of the day. There you are, you're over there. I moved the camera and I didn't know where you went. Alright, so, until I see you again, be blessed.